What's up guys, welcome to the channel. Okay, so anyway, I'm a remodeler. My whole life is what I do for a living. My channel is all about teaching you how to do it yourself, step by step. And I finally found this app that allows me to quickly and easily make before and after pictures. All I do is click and drag and I'm done. I love this app, I use it all the time. If you're a subscriber to my channel, or if you like these kind of channels that teach you how to do it yourself from contractors like me, this is such a great resource. I use it all the time. Uh, let me show you, it's free. I'm not sponsored. I'm just doing this because I think it's going to be useful to all of you guys. I think everybody pretty much wants to make a before and after picture every once in a while. So check this out. It's called College Factory. It's free from the App Store. The Apple App Store. Okay. So you download it. Bring up the app. Don't go full screen. Um, you're going to need to click and stretch it out a bit to expose all these tools that you're going to need. Okay, so there we go. All right, now go to classic. Okay, there's there's all kinds of stuff that this app can do, but we're just gonna stick with the before and after picture thing for right now. So you go to classic, and then you'll see you got classic one, classic two. These are for tall pictures, like pictures maybe you took with your iPhone, and then these are for square pictures or widescreen pictures, okay? So we're gonna go with this one for today. Double click on that, there it is. Click on this little X here, and it brings up your photos. Okay, so I am just gonna go, just for an example, a couple of boat pictures. Okay, boom, just click and drag and done. Love it. So, there we go. We got like a gray and burgundy boat and a gray and red boat. Now, we're already done, just like that. And you're gonna, you're gonna export, okay? Give it a title, or it might not show up on your desktop. I'm just gonna write boats. Okay, boom. Save. Now watch. Move this over, and there it is, right there. See how easy that was? And you just click and drag it to your photos, and it will be there, and then you can use it for whatever you want. Add it to share it on Facebook or share it with friends, email it, whatever. Okay, now we could actually just call the video done right now. That's how easy it is to make this before and after picture. Which is why I love this app. But this doing it this way, there's a second way to do it that you need to know about because if, when you do it this way, sometimes it's going to crop your picture too much. Uh, most of the time it's going to be fine, but if you find out that it cropped the picture too much, and it cut out too much of the picture and you're not happy, then let me show you this. We're gonna, there's a second way to do it where you can crop your own picture. Okay, hang on. So, let's just start a new project. Okay, get rid of the old one. Okay, here we are again. Okay, stretch it out. Now this time, we're not gonna go with classic right here. We're gonna go with blank up here. And you have these two options. So, same thing again. This one here, if you're doing tall pictures side by side, you go with this one. If you're doing square pictures or wide pictures, top to bottom, you do this one. Okay? Bam. There you go. Now, you can click over here on this little X right here and bring up your photos and do it again. Or, something I like to do is, um, pick my pictures that I want to use and add them to my desktop and that way they're just right here waiting for me. So when I bring this app up and I get started, I just click and drag these over. I don't have to bring up photos or nothing. They're, they're right there waiting for me. So kind of like doing that. Now you have the whole picture here. It's not cropped. So you can just enlarge it as big as you want. And everything is there. It has not been cropped out. Okay. So. There you go. Now, the first way I showed you is fast and convenient and works fine most of the time, but if you just find out that it cropped your picture too much, then just do it this way. Okay, now again, we could basically call it done right there. You can make these as big as you want. You can take up this whole white space. You can leave a little white border. Um, there again, just like we did before. Export it to desktop, give it a title, export it to desktop. 
can drag it to your photos, you can do whatever you want. You can call it done right there, but I'm going to show you now how to, uh, you can add so much to this picture, you can add a border, you can add text, you can add a background image, a um, bunch of stuff. So let's just go through this right now, we're going to go through, okay, see these five squares right here, one, two, three, four, five, these five tabs, these all allow you to, to kind of like add custom features to your picture like I just said. But let's go through each one of these just so you know what they are before I end the video. We got, okay, this little space here, you can add as many photos as you want to this empty space right here. And then you can just kind of play around with those. You can just kind of click them and drag them and play around. And if you want to do one of these templates that allows you to do like six pictures or eight pictures or 10 pictures, whatever, you can do that. And then if you have a list of pictures here, you can just kind of like, you know, mess around and, you know, get it the way you want it. Um, this this little tab right here if you do that if you have pictures here all this does here is increase the size of those pictures so you can see it better that's it that's all that does this uh, this new tab that's just to start a new project so you want to do two at once or you're gonna cancel the old one and just start over that's that fill at random it will whatever pattern you pick over here it will obviously fill it with these pictures over here that you picked up. Shuffle the layout means like say you have four small squares on top, two big squares on the bottom, it'll shuffle it around so you have a different pattern. Shuffle images, the pattern will stay the same but the pictures will switch around. So you can just play around and get everything the way you want it. These don't really matter if you're just doing a before and after picture. So anyway, and then over here export, we already did that export your desktop, you can email it to somebody, you can upgrade here to the paid version. Uh, I'm not, I can do so much with it just the way it is, I don't really need to do that. Okay, now we got these five tabs here that allow you to customize your picture. You, you know, like I said, you can do borders, you can do background image, you can do text. Okay, so here we go. This one, we already got this one done. We got the layout, there's two photos here, margin, this if you want more of a white border, so you can see that background image more, you can uh, kind of shrink the pictures, you can zoom them in so these are bigger. I mean, you already have it the way you want it when you added the pictures, you crop it yourself and you make them as big as you want, so you don't really need this for what we're doing here. Um, border, you can add a border, I kind of like a black border, I just think it looks kind of professional, but you can do whatever color you want. I'm going to just stick with black for now. Um, you can kind of kind of like the border to be a little bit bigger. If it's too skinny. It doesn't really seem like it's doing much. See there how there's kind of a shadow around the outside, kind of a dark shadow there. Kind of a cool feature. So just kind of adds a little something to the picture. You can increase that or decrease it. Have no shadow, you can have a lot of shadow. Um, the angle and the offset kind of go together here. Um, the angle will kind of make it so where it looks like the light is shining from the top down to the lower right side to give you the shadow over here. And then you can kind of switch it so it's like, see now it kind of looks like you got light shining from the right side going over to the left side. So you can just mess around with that. Um, yeah. The opacity, I don't know. It blurs the picture, so I guess so the background image would stand out more. I don't know. I would never use that. But there's that. Okay, and then text. You can add a text. Love it. Okay, is that a text? It's just right chest. Okay, there you go. Now you can just put it where you want. Just for example, I'll put it up here in the corner. Just kind of like the size of that. Um, I think I'll shrink it just a bit, but we have, okay, so you highlight that and then you can use these again. You kind of have to highlight this first before these will get going again. Um, so all kinds of different fonts. Right. 
picture. What do you like? Um, align it left, right, middle. If you have like two or three rows of writing, then it's going to align it however you want it. Um, size. I like the size of that. Maybe it's a little big. I'm going to shrink it down just a bit. It's good enough. Um, yeah. So, fonts, alignment, size, um, color, all different colors here you can pick from. Hey, look at that. Blue it matches the blue perfectly. Okay. So, there you go. Text it any way you want it. Move the text any way you want. Write whatever you want. It's pretty sweet. I love this app. Okay. Now, we're almost done here. Image. Okay. Now, go here and scroll. Sometimes it doesn't show up, so you got to put your mouse in here and scroll it for these little patterns to show up. So basically, it gives you a background image. Pretty sweet. You can also make Christmas cards and birthday cards and all kinds of stuff with this app too. So yeah, there's that. Or you can choose these. Same thing. It's just a background image, just different patterns. Okay, so there's that. Color, if you want to just go with like a solid color for your background, you can do that, right? So there's that. Um, you can do gradient, which gives you two tones for your background. Okay, so you got a, like an aqua blue going up into a light green here. Um, and you can change any one. So that we can change the aqua blue to like a red. Now it fades from red to a yellow to that light green. Like green to like a whatever, now red to, to that dark blue we just picked out. You can change the angle. Okay. You can have it be just transparent so there's nothing, just this background and it has a clean look to it too. It's good. Okay. And we have customize your. You can crop it to whatever size you want, but you can't use this unless you use the paid version. So this really doesn't do anything at all unless you do the paid version. And we don't need that because I can add it to my photos and I, if I want to crop it a little bit there, I can, so I'm fine. Okay, that's basically it. There you go. So, I mean, I love this app. It's so easy to use and it's so useful. I love being able to just quickly and easily make before and after pictures. I use them all the time. I'm a licensed remodeling contractor up here in Seattle, and when I advertise and when I want to show my pictures of my work, this is so great. But it's great for anyone. I mean, if you if you finished a project and it's done, I mean, you know, do a before and after and show it off to your friends, family, whoever. Um, okay, we're gonna call it done right there. That's it. Thanks for watching. I hope you find this useful, and I hope this helps you. I know I did. So there you go, and see you on the next video. If you found this useful and it, and it helps you out a little bit, leave a comment, and we'll see you on the next video.